Hello, I'm Paddy here, joining me is Ollie, and we're here to tell you about everything we've found out so far about BlizzCon 2019. Yeah, so it's been a relatively difficult time this year for Blizzard, and now all eyes are set on BlizzCon as a form of redemption. Absolutely, and the stuff we've heard, you know, heading into this event, the stuff we're going to say in this video, it seems pretty massive, but we've just got to remember that, you know, just like the title of the Fleetwood Mac's 1977 album, these are all just rumours. <laughs> That's a wonderful reference. Ollie, leading up to this event, it's mm -hmm. almost like Blizzard have been driving a boat with a damaged hull. There have been an awful lot of leaks. And the first of which is about Diablo 4. Ollie, talk to me about this. Yeah, so Diablo 4 is basically the sequel to 2012's Diablo 3. It was supposed to be announced last year, um, or at least that was, it was heavily rumoured to. And then, of course, Diablo Immortals was basically announced. Um, yes, and believe it or not, we all do have phones. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys then all have phones. Have phones. Right. We've all got phones, I've just heard. <laughs> We've all got yeah. phones. With that, we have Diablo 4, and that's going to be a continuation of the story, adding new features. We haven't really heard that much. We just know that it's confirmed because it was included in an art book. Um, I think there was an official game ad in a German magazine as well. So it's practically all but confirmed. It's mm. just, we're just waiting until the main announcement this weekend. So Overwatch 2, the squeak call is set to be uh, released. That's more mm -hmm. on the rumors we've heard. Ollie, how did this come about? So very, very recently, um, Rod Breslau, I think that's how you pronounce his surname, <laughs> yep, Slasher, he wrote a report for ESPN, basically using his inside sources to just go through all the information regarding Overwatch 2, um, which I find interesting. It's not an addition to the normal Overwatch like it is with most games these days. Instead, this time, it's a completely new sequel, which I think is very much in line with what BlizzCon's all about, and that's that new step forward. So what sort of major changes do you think we're going to be looking at in Overwatch 2? So I think throughout all of Overwatch's lifespan, they've been trying to add on to the characters, the lore, the story, trying to build it up. And what we're seeing with this new game is that they're adding PvE elements to it, um, which pretty much involves a much smaller scale, not big arena fights. Instead, this time, it might be something very similar to Left 4 Dead 2, where you've got four play, um, player characters, and they kind of progress through a map. And I think one example cited was based on the Rio de Janeiro map. He's just trying to, I think, just expand upon what they're building and trying to actually turn it into a full-on franchise like they've done with their other titles. So I was going to start this by saying, you know, WoW fans have had a great year mm -hmm. since the re-release of Classic, but you disagree with me. So, of course, Classic was an extremely positive thing. It was a heavy request of feature, and people are really loving it. I've been loving it. I've been playing it. I'm still not 60, you know, because I'm incredibly um, Bad. slow. Yeah. Sorry. No, I don't want to go that far. Retail, it's kind of much more it's kind of got dropped down in popularity, it didn't meet expectations, especially since Legion was so good. And now I think all eyes are looking to this latest expansion, which still, it has, we've seen nothing of except the odd leak based on merchandise, and it shows the new Lich King, which of course is one of the most popular villains that Blizzard has ever created. And I think people are looking forward to something like that. And again, there's just a lot of pressure to make sure it performs well. So obviously you mentioned the merchandise leak there. Could mm -hmm. you talk a bit more specifically about that? It was a very, kind of, sort of a cropped image, basically two t-shirts with the name on it. You had this 4K image of the new Lich King. They had the title of the new expansion called Shadowlands, um, which is what it's been kind of rumored to be the whole time. And last but certainly not least, we've got Hearthstone. Paddy, can you take us through this journey? Absolutely, Ollie. Yeah, so a big trailer <laughs> dropped uh, with, it was titled Choose Wisely, featuring the character Madame Lazul laying out cards onto a table. Um, obviously, the whole thing was slightly ambiguous. Mm -hmm. um, we still don't know what exactly it's going to uh, contain. You know, it does hint to very big changes happening in the game in the next expansion. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> I'm stealing my job. <laughs>